All right, at this time, uh, do we have any persons that wish to speak as a primary witness in opposition? We do. Paredes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Member Sam Paredes representing Gun Owners of California, and we're here to express our strong opposition to SB 1038, which alters one of the provisions of 2016's Proposition 63 by reducing the current time to report a stolen firearm within five days to just 48 hours. If the people wanted a tighter time frame, they would have voted so. And, and uh, there's a provision that says that if there's a, the legislature wants to improve or, or uh, further the cause of the initiative, they can do it by making it tighter. They're not furthering the cause, they're constricting the cause, and we're prepared to challenge that in court. Without question, no one will argue that it's, uh, it's important to inform law enforcement when a firearm is missing or stolen. The issue uh, with this proposal, however, is that the reporting time frame is exceedingly restrictive and thus places individuals at risk of unknowingly breaking the law. The original five-day mandate drew concern from law enforcement and the courts because the enforcement provisions are primarily focused on the law-abiding and thus places an unrealistic burden on gun owners. The bill would essentially force them to routinely take inventory of their belongings, which are required to be under lock and key. It would it could be weeks before someone knows whether a secured firearm has been stolen. This bill shifts the focus from the criminals and places it on responsible, lawful persons. Further, the requirement for a dealer to annually certify, this is mind-blowing, their, their inventory is unnecessarily onerous. Under current California law, dealers are already inspected regularly uh, by both the Department of Justice and the Bureau of Alcohol, to, uh, Tobacco and Firearms and Explosives, and every firearm in their inventory has to be accounted for. So that is already taken place. Uh, it has been our consistent goal to work toward uh, common sense laws, and th this just is not uh, a, a lot of common sense. All it's doing is burdening lawful dealers who are regularly checked, and if they have missing firearms, their licenses are revoked. So it's not necessary. All it's doing is causing more work. And for the law-abiding citizens who happen to have a cabin up in um, the mountains somewhere, and they, they, they keep a firearm there, and they're broken into and it's stolen, how are they supposed to know within 48 hours that that firearm was stolen? They want to report it, of course. But for them to require, be required to uh, report when, when it happened or when they should have known that it happened, the problem with that is it's that the Department of Justice in the state of California decides when they should have known. And that, that presents a big problem. That's why we are in strong opposition. Thank you very much. <laughs>